Hello everyone, I'm Susumu Kiyoshima from NTT Research. I'm going to talk about my recent work about public coin three round zero notch argument. Recall that in zero notch argument, a prover can convince a verifier of the correctness of statement without revealing anything beyond the fact that the statement is true. The focus of this work is three round construction of zero notch argument. So we consider a construction where, as shown in this picture, the prover and the verifier exchange only three messages. Three run construction are interesting for the run argument because they are optimal in terms of round complexity due to the classical impossibility of two run zero knowledge. However, unfortunately, three run zero knowledge is also difficult to obtain. And in particular, three run zero knowledge with black box simulation is impossible. This impossibility means that uh, many of the common techniques about zero knowledge cannot be used to obtain three run zero knowledge. And because of its difficulty, until recently, three run zero knowledge had been obtained only under strong unforceable assumption, such as uh, knowledge of exponent assumptions, or under weak definition such as super polynomial simulation security or weak zero knowledge. This frustrating situation has changed recently because of a recent work by Vitansky, Karai, and Panis, who gave a three round zero knowledge based on quasi polynomial hardness of the learning with the errors assumption and slightly super polynomial hardness of keyless multi collision resistance functions. Here, the assumption about the keyless multi collision resistance function is a falsified assumption that has a relatively simple definition. And it seems plausible to assume that uh, this assumption is satisfied by real world keyless hash function like share. So, this result of Bitansky et al. can be viewed as a result showing that the uh, three run zero knowledge can be obtained from a simple falsified assumptions. Now, given this result of Bitansky et al., in this work, we show that uh, a public coin three run zero knowledge argument can be obtained from uh, almost the same assumption as Bitansky et al. In particular, we obtained it from uh, sub exponential hardness of uh, the learning with errors assumption and slightly super polynomial hardness of uh, keyless multi collision resistance hash functions. Recall that in a public coin zero knowledge argument, the verifier only sends the outcome of coin toss to the prover, and it computes the final output from the transcript deterministically. Many of the well-known zero knowledge protocols, such as GMW and BRAM, are public coin, and so public coin three run zero knowledge protocol is a theoretically very natural target, and I will give a positive answer about it. Additionally, since our zero knowledge argument is public coin, it automatically satisfies several useful properties such as public verifiability, meaning that anyone other than verifier can also check whether a transcript is accepting or not. And it also satisfies leakage resilience about the verifier's secret state, since the verifier does not have any secret state in a public coin protocol. Finally, compared with the three run zero knowledge of Bitansky et al., our zero knowledge argument is a public coin, but it is based on slightly strong assumption. In particular, it relies on sub expand hardness of the LWE, whereas the protocol of Bitansky et al. relies on class polynomial hardness of the LWE assumption. So this difference of the assumption does not seem very significant. But still, it is an interesting open question to close this gap between value to green three run zero knowledge and the public coin one. So this concludes my talk. So thank you for listening.